basically, uh, we have two sets of data. One is the CT scan, the DICOM from Halpert, and here's the 3D rendering. We also have the rendering of the individual uh, teeth that she has. Number two, we have uh, the model of the dentulous area, which is um, obtained with, a, with the uh, optical scanner, in this case, the ITERO machine. And the two sets of data are merged. And now we have uh, basically a virtual molly that we can plan our implant on. What's missing here is the tooth. So I didn't have enough time to merge the impression of the, uh, of the bonded tooth. So we're going to use a virtual wax up to give us an idea where the tooth fits in and then we can plan the implant accordingly. So you, you can tell I'm not looking at Halpert's printouts or CD or PDF files. I'm looking at the 3D and all the different sections and I'll show you how it works. So the first thing we need to do is create a virtual tooth, a virtual number 10. And the way this works, the software ask us, asks us to mark the most buccal aspect of uh, the existing teeth so it can create uh, the, the right tooth in the, almost in the right position. So we create a little arch here and we choose the number 10 tooth and then it roughly places it in, in position. We need to make some adjustments. Obviously, the tooth doesn't fit there, but we need to make some uh, adjustments to put it in position. Uh, we can make it uh, a little bit wider and maybe shorter as well. Uh, we won't have an ideal, an ideal uh, emergence profile because both of us saw the deficiency on the buckle. But for the very least, what we can do is align the, the, the virtual wax up so it um, aligns with the arch, with the incisal edge, and that's relatively simple to do. Now, if we have multiple teeth that we're replacing, then we need an actual wax up because that becomes a little bit more complex. But for one tooth, uh, I think it's uh, relatively reasonable. So I'm just looking at the incisal edge, make sure that it's uh, continuous. I can also look from the buccal aspect to make sure that the contour of the tooth is uh, proper, except for the emergence profile that is right now deficient. I think this, this tooth is going to end up being a little bit longer than the uh, number seven, but that's quite good. So what we can do next is pick a section that goes through the virtual wax up, okay, and we are right there. So then we look at the cross section on the upper left and we can see the cross section of the tooth we can see the soft tissue here in pink and obviously we see the bone and we see the concavity as well.